Hi all, welcome to episode number 5 of Trading 2 Glory, plenty sniping in this episode fo focusing heavily on the new player of the month, definitely plenty profits to be had from this, so hopefully you enjoy this, smash the like as always, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Gs Legend, all the links are down below for posts on the channel and social media links as always, let me know in the comments down below guys as well what you've been focusing your client efforts on and if you've been doing any investing of at all. So we're starting off with about 10k, um, we've been doing a bit of, fair bit of spending, getting the coins kind of depleted, focusing first off on Kepa and Marata, this is what our main focus for the episode is guys, um, because of the flashback SBC for Wanfan and then the, obviously playing one Fanard, um, Kepa and Marata respectively are very useful cards to snipe Kepa, pretty much go to like 2k, but um, 2 to 2.2 .2. we've just got to spend about say 5-10 minutes just kind of sniper we see what we can get because I've noticed my fair share of him consistently popping up around say 1.5 to 1.7 and then it's just a case of right going to list them up for like 2k to 2.2 .2, and then they're pretty much selling pretty much selling fairly quickly not complaining and getting ourselves plenty of coins into the bargain but then the day Yes, he's a um, cheaper card, but the way I'm looking at it, if I can use him to start off with, I can then focus my energy on to Marata, because coin-wise just now we are a little bit low, and I'd rather say to myself, focus on someone that's consistently popping up frequently and cheap, that's useful for SBC, because obviously is useful for the Chelsea aspect and he's useful for the Spain aspect for um, flashback Van Fran SBC. So right away you've got two reasons why he's useful and it just kind of helps you out and also he's 83 rated that's kind of one reason as well and you can just literally I'm just trying to go mad for buying sometimes I'm willing to pay the 2k to then sell it 2-2 and yes you're only then making about 100 coins profit but if you're generally consistently paying between 1-5 to 1-8 I would personally say I'm happy with that. I can then put the coins to use regardless. Because especially if you're buying say five or six at a time, then eventually your coin tally will just go up just enough that you could say, right, let's um you can buy a nothing bolt because people are just gonna keep if people are paying two point two or two point one or two K quite readily, then you can see yourself right let's go a bit mad and then just adjust accordingly. Now Marata is more bigger rig if you want to call it, he is double the price, two to two and a half times the price, he's like five, five and a half k is generally what you're paying. I have seen him touch six, I have seen him hit that six k mark, but generally you're aiming five, like I'm like the most I'm usually trying to pay at the very worst is 5.2. I have missed countless um, bargains guys, you've probably seen them flying through as well, um, like 3.2, I missed one at 750 actually which was kind of gutting, I was like who an earth lists for 750, I think they listed up for the minimum price that he can go for, and I was like yeah, like that really, hard. you almost think it's all like really did that happen, it's like, and it was like, it's on the other and you say to yourself great, brilliant, if you're, and you think to yourself if, if you are genuinely quick enough you will get it, but obviously it's harder said than done. Now, when I went down through the, this filter, I was thinking initially, oh, Pedro um, will be fairly expensive as well. It'll be great, Pedro will be, but because Pedro's an 82 rated this year, he's not, so it kind of this, um, you can't do four words in Spanish, otherwise, cause if, I think if they were both, say, 83 rated and say they were both like 5k then it would feel quite a good filler then because you could then just do Spanish forwards and you consistently get Maratas and Pedros it's just annoying that you've just got to do striker and you've just got to hope and pray that it's just Maratas and free fall well not free fall but kind of like consistently appearing but it's we're getting a few we're getting a couple at a time which is at the end of the day the coins are going up that is the way I'm looking at them only annoyance is um, because of the coin tally just now, I've got to hope and pray that I can bag like a cheap one to compensate for any like coin shortfalls with 
one's up cheap. I thought hope and pray I've got enough coins to buy it because I've literally just spent like 10, 15,000 coins just buying an, a few more to then restock up and you've just got to kind of get the trigger fingers pretty much on point. Like, the one thing you'll have noticed, it's not just with Kepa, with Marata, it's with any of them, is their um, cards will show on like start price 700, buy now say 10k, but folk are listing them up thinking oh they'll, I'll sell them, they'll sell themselves. Like, that is the one time you will find that people will overpay for the card. Like, I, um, I went away for dinner like earlier on and it was mental. Like, even when you go away for, when I went away for breakfast, when I went away for lunch or dinner, um, and you just sit, the, the cl um, make sure that you're on like a page where there's enough to watch. So if suddenly you've got, say, six to watch, some of the times they were genuinely selling for like dirt cheap and I was like that can't be right and like fair enough like I even watched them I even made sure of it I added them to the watch list there was for the one page that it was on five of them one went for 1200 one went for 1800 one went for 3.1 and then there were two were like 3.7 or something there was like some half on prices but I thought why are people um, letting that happen but it's, and then the next page, when I'd done it later on, there's like six, um, like the minute the start price was like 4k to 10k, and like four of them were selling for like 7k. And I was like, I'm, I honestly don't know what's going on, but I've seen that um, two had Hunter, one had Shadow, one had Catalyst, and one had Hawk. It was like it was baffling. I was like, people were not making sense of this, but I wasn't caring. I thought if people were willing to overpay, then go for it. Like, we're missing a few deals here. Um, my biggest advice with this, but also not to be too quick, is always keep it on, buy now, and then all you have to do is literally, it's a few taps to um, get yourself ready for the hour. It just gives you as good a chance as any. Obviously people might, some people like to go the filter down the price. I don't mind doing that um, when I'm struggling to find a card. Like, if, say, Marata was struggling at five and a half, and I was like, right, I'll just flick her down. I'll, what I would end up doing is flick, flick down to four and a half or four K, and then flick it back up to like five, five and a half. And then from there, I would just go right. And you sometimes get lucky, you sometimes um, you might just get the one on the page, and it's that one you need. And sometimes it just happens. We've got a couple more just slotting in, but the way I'm looking at it, the profits are thick and fast. Like they're not too bad, but they're not brilliant, as I would say. Like for me, we're doing well. Like realistically, I know some people would look at this and say, "Oh, it's not as great as it actually looks." I'd be saying, "Well, profits are profits." End of the day, and like Marata and Kepa, they're consistently going to be cards that I think they're going to be useful for most SBCs, especially for Player of the Month. Like Marata is 83 and there's not many 83 strikers off the top of my head. Goalkeeper wise for Kepa 83 isn't very many either if I've got my thinking cap on right. Because it's quite a fine line. Because it's like 84 I'm sure it's like Schmeichel. 84 or 85 Schmeichel and then like 83. I'd, I'd have to have a, I'd need to make sure but regardless between Kepa and Marata, these are the two that were pretty focused, as I said, on this episode. I will focus on the bigger guns. Um, the reason why I've not focused on Fabregas is because I've, when I've tried him, I'm not, I've not enjoyed them. I have not enjoyed sniping them. I'm just mainly because I feel like, despite him being an 84 rated, I feel Marata's popping up more frequent and I've felt like I've got more profit out of them. But you're welcome to go for um, Fabregas, as I said. Um, what you'd have to then do is be wary with Fabregas so you have to go centre mid. Obviously some versions will pop up as CDM um, cam if you want it to be player, um, position specific. But with Fabregas if you set it to midfield you end up getting Pedro. That's kind of why I don't enjoy that filter. Like yes Fab um, Marat. Saying that with Fabregas you may get the odd striker um, pop up. 
like I have seen people put position changes on some players and it's kind of crazy. That, now that was a wild run there, that's like five cars nearly in the blink of an eye kind of just popping up. It's like, I think we got we got one of them but we missed like three which is kind of annoying. But if you got all of them, suddenly you'd be rolling in coins. That's how easy like Murata is popping up. And it's an element of patience but it's an element of paying off at the same time but as you can see the coin balance has really gone up a lot healthier compared to what we started off with as I said next episode I'm going to focus on the big guns of Jorginho Kovacic these guys are big money and honestly if you've got the time the patience and the coins there is serious money to be made out of them so hopefully you enjoyed this guys, let me know in the comments down below if you've been making good profits at all out of the Player Month filters and SBCs. Smash likes always, sub to the channel if you're not following me on Twitter, Jesus Legend, and I'll catch you all later.